perfectly super cold ice, okay? There was not only a canopy of water above the earth, there was water in the crust of the earth. Psalm 24 says, the earth is the Lord's. He founded it upon the seas and established it upon the floods. See, most of the water that's now in the oceans used to be in the crust of the earth. Psalm 136 says, he stretched out the earth above the waters. It's not the way it is today. I believe the original creation had a layer of water above, maybe 10 or 20 inches, who knows, of ice probably, and then a layer of air to breathe, probably 10 or 20 miles, I don't know, and then dirt and rocks to stand on, the crust of the earth, which we still have, but inside the crust of the earth, there was water. That's the water that came shooting to the surface when the fountains of the deep broke open. By the way, there is still lots of water in the crust of the earth. Otherwise, you could not have hot water vents shooting up into the bottom of the ocean. If you have hot water squirting up into the bottom of the ocean, where does it have to be coming from? Lower than that, doesn't it? Still huge hot water vents in the bottom of the ocean. I think some of that water is still coming out. We cover more on that in the hydroplate theory on video six. But I think the earth today still has cracks where it broke open at the time of the flood. I taught earth science for years. The earth is broken up into plates. There's no question. I've been to the San Andreas Fault, the Hayward Fault, the New Madrid Fault, the Golden Fault. None of them are my fault, but I've been there, okay? There's no question. There are cracks in the earth's crust. And when they move around, buildings fall down. It's called earthquakes, okay? Or tsunamis happen from the, from the underwater landslides and turbidity currents. There's no question the earth is broken up, and there's no question the plates are still moving. The question is, when did all this happen? Now, the evolutionist will tell you this happened over millions and millions of years. The creationist says, no, all this catastrophe probably started at the time of that flood when the fountains of the deep broke open. That's what caused the fault lines. And the water went shooting to the surface, and it's still here today. I was debating an atheist one time, and during Q&A time, this student stood up and said, Hoven, where'd all the water from the flood go? I said, oh, it's still here. I said, the oceans are huge. There's enough water in the oceans. If you smoothed out the earth, it would cover the earth a mile and a half deep everywhere. I flew back over to Pacific from Australia. I told one of the guys in my office, I said, man, that Pacific Ocean is huge. He said, oh, that's just the top of it. <laughs> what a thought. <laughs> These hot water vents are proof there's water in the crust of the earth still squirting up. Probably most of it's gone now. It's on the surface. But this canopy of water that used to be...